Welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss about AWS IAM policies and permissions. So let us get started. What is IAM policy? A policy is an object in IAM which we attach with an identity. Identity like user, group or role or a resource. An IAM policy is an important concept in AWS which we use a lot in almost everywhere. Inside the policy, we define permissions to various AWS resources. So, policy is a document in which we write the permissions for various AWS resources. When the policy is attached to an identity, the identity gets the permission to services that are defined in the policy. So, the steps are like, first we create the policy and inside the policy we define the permissions to various AWS resources and then we attach these policies to various identities. We, we will see this in more details. Policies are stored as JSON objects. Policies are nothing but uh, documents which are uh, written in JSON format. AWS evaluates the policies when the IAM identity makes a request for a service. For example, if a user requests to upload an object to S3 bucket, IAM will verify with the policy attached to the user, if the user has permission to upload the object to S3 or not. The permission will be written in the policy, that is the JSON document. So if the user requests to upload an object, IAM will see if this user has permission to upload the object or not based on the policy that is attached to the user. Now, there are two types of policies in IAM. First is identity based policy and the second is resource based policy. So, identity based policies are attached to IAM users, groups or roles. Through this policy, we specify the permission for the identity. Uh, that is what the identity can do. For example, suppose we have a user Tom in your account and you want to give him permission to execute the function EC2 run instances. So, what you will need to do is you will need to create an IAM policy. In that policy, you will say that Tom has permission to take this action and attach that policy to the user Tom, which is an identity here. So this was about identity based policy. Then in the resource based policy, resource based policy is attached to a resource. You can specify who has access to the resource and what action they can perform on it. For example, you can attach a resource based policy to an S3 bucket and specify who can access this bucket and what all he is allowed to do with this bucket. When you create a permission policy to restrict access to a resource, you can choose an identity based or resource based policy based on your requirement. So, let us see these in more details. Suppose we have this uh, user Tom and we have an EC2 instance in our account and this user wants to access this EC2 instance. He would not be allowed to run the instance. Why? Because we do not have attached any policy to the resource or to the user yet. So in identity based policy what we will do? We will create a policy and inside the policy we will write that Tom has permission to run EC2 instance. This will be JSON based. In the upcoming videos we will see how this policy works and how we write the policy. So for now just understand that we created a policy and inside the policy we, we are saying that Tom has permission to run EC2 instance. And then we attach this policy to 
tom attach policy with the user tom so now tom now is allowed to run the ec2 instance so in this way we saw that we created a policy and attached it to the identity which is our user so this is identity based policy now let us see resource based policy example so in resource based policy suppose we have a resource say an s3 bucket let us name it my test bucket now again we have our user tom who wants to access this s3 bucket but he will not be allowed to perform get object or put object actions on s3 bucket because we have not created any policy for tom and in this example we are not going to create an identity based policy we will be creating a resource based policy so in resource based policy which is a json document we will write user tom can perform following actions get object put object on my test bucket and after creating this policy we will attach this policy to our s3 bucket now tom can perform get object and put object actions on this s3 bucket because we created a resource based policy and in the policy we specifies that tom can do these functions was a quick theory about the uh, IAM uh, policies and permissions in the upcoming videos I'll give a demo for these concepts so if you like the video please leave your valuable comments and subscribe to my channel if you have not already subscribed thank you